Hello students, today we are doing part 5 that is the final part of lesson 7 from your science textbook for standard 6. Nutrition and diet. Let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. The next topic we are going to learn is about malnutrition. Mal means lack of, less of nutrition. Okay, so malnutrition occurs when all the nutrients that the body needs are not obtained in the proper proportion from the diet. Okay, there are some people, some children who love to eat, you know, burgers and fries and all that. They don't want to eat vegetables, fruits and cereals and all that. So what happens is our body will not get the balanced diet and so we may suffer from malnutrition. Mm. And this happens when a person does not get sufficient food or when the diet is not balanced. So, either the child is not eating proper food or maybe is eating a lot of food but not eating in the right proportion. The, not giving the body all the constituents of food. So, if one's diet exceeds one need, it is called overnutrition. Okay, so here are the two pictures showing malnutrition and overnutrition. So, some people, they keep on eating. Okay, so that is also not good. So, that time you may suffer from overnutrition. Now, use your brain power. That is, think about it. Choose a balanced diet for one day according to your preferences. So, you have to make another pyramid and then write all the things. Okay, in the pyramid, all the things that you love to eat and put it in the right proportion and try to see whether your diet is balanced or not. Now, junk food. What is junk food? Chocolates, noodles, burgers, pizzas, chips, bottled soft drinks, attractive packed snacks are also ready fried food stuff available in the market such as vadas and pakodas etc are very tasty isn't it they are very tasty food and we like them very much mm -hmm. but however these food stuffs contained refined flour sugar oil in large proportion so, what is refined flour? Flour that has been, you know, processed a lot. So, all the nutrients get lost. That is maida, okay, our polished rice and all that. So, all these foodstuffs that are made, they are made from refined flour. And they add a lot of sugar, a lot of oil is added to it, okay. So, therefore, it is not good to consume it on a daily basis. So, when refined flour is made from wheat or when sugar is made from sugar cane, many nutrients in the wheat or sugar are lost in the process. Hence, all we get from the food is energy and our hunger is satisfied. So, what happens is we get a lot of energy. Suddenly, our body gets a lot of energy. Okay. And so, our hunger is satisfied. So, we do not feel hungry. So, we are not eating food after that. Okay. So, our body will not get the all the constituents. Naturally, if we eat a lot of junk food, we will get insufficient quantity of the items from the food groups. So, we will, our body will not be able to get all the constituents of food. And if this happens frequently, so if you do it often, a lot of times, our body soon experiences a shortage of proteins, vitamins and minerals and that may lead to malnutrition. Okay, so we may suffer from malnutrition. Junk food eaten frequently, again and again, lot of time, there are children who demand for junk food every day, okay, also causes obesity. Obesity means you will become very, very fat, okay, you have seen, no, there are children become so fat. So, obesity is not good for our health. As such, foods do not supply all the necessary nutrients. They are called junk food. So, any food items that do not give us balanced diet, do not have the constituents of food and all that, so that is called junk food. And how to avoid obesity? Obesity, I told you, you know, those who consume a lot of junk food will become very, very fat. So, how to do it? Have a balanced diet. Eat whole grains, 
that is food like you know our chapati rice and all that and eat fruits and vegetables with their skins some of the fruits we can eat like apple and chikku and all that fruits we can eat with the skin then there are some vegetables like tomatoes and all that we can have it with the skin so don't try to peel that skin of it then increase use of bicycles so use do be active okay use bicycles use other activities play more outdoor games okay and you can go for any other activities like playing specific games like going for swimming also or maybe you know uh, going for some sports like cricket and football and all that mm, and there are some things which you shouldn't do and which are they do not eat if you are not hungry sometimes we go for parties and all that we want to taste all kinds of different food so we keep on eating so if you are not hungry do not eat do not watch tv while eating so when we are eating all tv and all everything should be switched off and we should see what we are eating we should relish what we are eating we should taste and eat it okay then do not use motor vehicles for traveling short distance so try to walk or go by bicycle for short distance so don't go use any vehicle avoid pre cooked packed food so all the food packed food that we getting nowadays in large quantities so try to avoid it as far as possible okay little bit consuming is okay but as far as possible try to avoid it here is another important topic on food that is adulteration of food what do you mean by adulteration there are people for little more money to earn a little more profit what they do is they add some other harmful products to the food uh, food items so that the weight of the food items increases okay so which is harmful for our body in order to earn more profit cheaper substances of lower quality are mixed with the food stuffs so these substances are called adulterants okay what they add okay the bad stuff that they add into the food in order to increase the quantity of food that is called adulterants and adding them to the food stuff is called adulteration of food so if you if there are adulterants in the food so that part is called the adulteration of food and adulterants may even be poisonous or harmful to the health so it could be very very harmful it could be poisonous such adulterated food is impure it's not pure and it's harmful and so unfit for consumption we shouldn't be having it but sometimes we are unaware of it now uh, and by not knowing we have it and so we may suffer from various different kinds of uh, you know it can cause harm to our body now what are the adulterants what are the different adulterants that people add in the food adulterants used to adulterate fruit uh, food are uh, such that they will remain unnoticed even when mixed with the food so it is not easily be noticeable okay so let's read about it the food item and what are the adulterants they add one is milk in milk what they do they add water and sometimes they add chemicals like urea and starch okay so which is very dangerous and we cannot notice it very easily chili powder okay mirchi powder chili powder what they add they add brick powder or powdered pumpkin uh, pumpkin okay powdered pumpkin they will add or they will add brick powder okay brick means the uh, eater okay now pepper coins pepper corns pepper corns means uh, black pepper no uh, miri so they will add papaya seeds in it then in ice cream what they do in the ice cream they add washing soda and paper pulp P paper pulp means paper they soak it in water and so it becomes mashed up that they add it in ice cream okay isn't it very bad repulsive isn't it while thinking only we do want to eat it okay but then there are people who add it then in rice what they do they will add small white stones in it then in peanuts that is our ground nuts they will add reddish pebbles pebbles are small stones that look like pe peanuts only or stones okay so reddish pebbles or stones now always remember adulteration of food is a crime crime means it is punishable okay if anybody is caught doing any adulteration they can be put to jail and put to fine okay so it can be very severe punishment
so and we should avoid eating adulterated food so even if it's you know sometimes the food is so cheap we are, we want to buy it but think why it is so cheap so there may be adulterants in it so you have to think about it what we have learnt in this lesson we have learnt that nutrition is a process of taking food and water and using them to obtain energy and for purposes of growth or and other bodily function okay so nutrition and water is required for the proper function of our body a diet containing all nutrients in the right quantity is called balanced diet so all the nutrients of food when we have it when we consume it in the right proportion so it is called the balanced diet carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and fibers are the nutrients in food a balanced diet includes nutrients in the right quantity okay in proper quantity that is called balanced diet the food pyramid helps us to choose a balanced diet so the if you draw the, your food food pyramid so it helps us to see whether we are consuming balanced diet or no then whether a person is malnourished or has deficiency diseases depends upon the proportion of food that is taking so if if he is suffering from any diseases or is malnourished that is not getting proper food okay so that means there is not taking proper food junk food gives us energy but not other nutrients so we should avoid junk food okay occasionally to eat is okay but not on a regular basis so it will give us energy but it will not give any nutrients and adulteration food is impure and harmful to health so there are people who add different types of cheap food things to the food to make it uh, you know to earn more profit so which is very very harmful for our body do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe bye bye